so let's talk about the multi cavity cholesterol so let us first know what is the cholesterol basically it is a specialized linear beam vacuum tube linear beam vacuum tube which is invented in 1937 by variants brothers brothers they were an american electrical engineers named as rosel and sigard this calestron used as amplifier for high radio frequency radio frequency from ultra high frequency up to microwave range microwave range that means as we know our radio frequency range is approximately 3 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz and our microwave frequency range is uh, approximately 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz that means if we want to amplify this radio frequency so for that we have to use this cholesterol now we are we are talking about the multi cavity cholesterol so let's see what is its uh, diagram and how its work and what is the concept behind the amplification of this radio frequency so let's draw the circuit diagram basically it's a vacuum tube in books you must found that uh, this diagram is drawn horizontally but I'm going to draw it vertically because of some purpose so first let's see this multi cavity cholesterol consists of two cavity basically it may be four cavity or seven cavity so this is the first cavity which is called buncher cavity and this is the input where RF signal is fed now move ahead Here again at a certain distance another cavity which is called as a catcher cavity where our radio frequency which is amplified and the whole energy is catch by this cavity and this is contain an collector as a node to collect the electron so this is the basically a vacuum tube now here it consists and focusing electron electrodes these are the focusing 
electrodes and here and cathode is connected okay this is the cathode from where electrons are emitted so till here this is the electrons beam and they travel within this gap so this gap is called drift space and this is gap A this is gap B okay now after this gap A the electron get bunched and we will see how this process occur how this bunching occur so let's try to visualize or imagine how this bunching occur okay so before going to explain this bunching uh, i would like to explain some concept about this uh, electrons and uh, when it comes under some voltage influence what occur or what effect of the velocity of this electron so let's see suppose these are the electrons electrons as we know electrons moving like a wave nature according de broglie hypothesis so suppose this is the electron one two three four this is the electrons and when it pass through this tube when it pass through this tube when there is no input applied there is no effect of the velocities means they moves const with constant velocity from here to here okay now if here rf signal is applied then let's see what is the effect okay so suppose this is your rf signal okay when an electron here the zero voltage here the maximum positive voltage here again zero volt here the maximum negative voltage so remember when an electrons comes under the influence of this positive voltage its speed get increased speed get increased when an electron comes under this zero voltage no speed variation take place and but when an electron comes under this negative voltage their speed will get decrease okay so remember these three conditions and let's see how this bunching occur okay so in this calestron this calestron when electron emitted from this cathode these electrons act like a carrier that means these electrons act like a carrier this electron carry the frequency this rf frequency in a small small amount because from this cathode from cathode electrons emitted like one electron after that another electron after that another electrons okay so if there is no voltage this electron moving with constant velocity moving this constant velocity and there is no chance for the bunching because they can't catch each other when there is no input applied but as the moment when the rf signal is applied there is variation occur in the speed of these electrons 
so suppose let us try to understand it by apple gate diagram apple gate diagram the diagram which give the information about the speed of electrons and density of electrons called the apple gate diagram and the name because of the scientist okay so let's see this is the gap a voltage this is the time and here the distance to gap b you know here this is the gap b so suppose uh, let's understand this graph like this suppose an electron emitted by here and at the gap a where this signal is applied this first electron comes under the influence of this negative voltage so suppose it comes under the influence of this negative voltage then what will occur its velocity get decrease this is the first electron suppose this is x this is x first electron now second electron after the x is emitted suppose it comes under the influence of zero voltage here then what will occur there is no change in the speed and suppose third electron suppose this is y suppose third electron which comes under the influence of this positive voltage then what happen the speed is increased by some amount okay so let us try to understand by taking some magnitude suppose this x electron moving with velocity 10 km per second y electron also moving with 10 km per second and z electron also moving with 10 km per second when there is no input applied but as the moment when this input applied the x electrons which comes under the negative voltage let its speed decreases by 2 km per second so it's moving with 8 km per second this y electron which comes under the zero voltage there is no variation in the velocity it's moving same velocity 10 km per second and this z electron which is after the y it comes under the positive voltage it's a velocity let increased 12 km per second and at a certain moment what happens this all electrons moving with the same velocity if you take the average speed so 8 plus 12 plus 10 divided by 3 is 30 they all moving with 10 km per second it's not exact value it's roughly we taken for the understanding purpose so what we can see here this all electrons catch together at a point here when the voltage is zero there is no effect of the speed of this electron but at the moment when this comes under this the velocity variation take place so here we can see these electrons are catches at a certain point and similarly all electron which comes under this this speed is get increases and here the speed gets decreases so they can catch each other and this bunching occurs now this bunch of electrons carry small amount of 
this energy basically they are carry and moving ahead at the moment when they reached here in gap b they meet all the energy together and from here we'll get high amplified energy so and electrons get collected by this anode which are highly positive with respect to this cathode so here we can see this is the base basic process how this bunching occur now the moment here some questions arise in my our mind means why we choose this bunching limit actually the purpose of choosing this bunching limit is such as if you choose this one this one we can't get the variation in the velocity of the electrons or if you choose this one similarly we can't get the variation in the velocity of electron so this bunching cannot be occur but as we choose this here we can clearly see within this electron or within this electron there is changing the velocity with respect to this suppose this is the our y is reference electron if you consider so according to this they all can catch or they get an opportunity to catch this y electron so at a certain moment they all move with a constant velocity together and bunching occurs so because of this reason we choose as a lambda y4 plus 2 minus lambda y4 this is our bunching limit this is the basic working how this two cavity cholesterol working so this all pdf available in the description link you can download from there thank you